Hey, it's Sam here, and I'm standing in central Warsaw, Poland, where just over three weeks ago, I evacuated myself and uh, my team from my tech company uh, to Warsaw, Poland. And I'm making this video to explain what we've decided to do based on our experience with evacuating. Uh, right after the war started, I started uh, doing some broadcasts uh, from connections I have with people in Ukraine, uh, explaining the situation on the ground there. And since then, we've interviewed uh, territorial defense fighters, resistance fighters, uh, regular volunteers from all walks of life, economists, military experts to s tell the story of what's going on in Ukraine. And something amazing has happened in the process. Uh, we raised over $63,000 uh, to support the evacuation of our team members from my tech company. And uh, in the process of raising that money, we uh, figured out that we raised more than we needed uh, for just our own uh, workers. So what we decided to do was keep broadcasting the Borderlands uh, stories from UK Ukraine uh, that we started doing and continue to raise money and turn what we've started into a nonprofit, which is going to be called the Borderlands Foundation. And this nonprofit is supporting Ukrainians, staffed 100% by Ukrainians, aside from myself, but I am a Ukrainian resident and, and re refugee with the rest of the members of my team. And we've moved over uh, about 13 members from my tech company over into this nonprofit full time. And what our mission is, is to provide 24 seven real human support to people inside and outside of Ukraine who want help. So right now, our main focus has been facilitating people who want to move uh, to safety inside Ukraine or cross the borders uh, to somewhere in Europe or outside of Ukraine. And we facilitate that by helping people pick the right border crossing, uh, advising them on how to get ready for the border crossing because it can take a long time and they need to be prepared for it, providing rest for people uh, before they start the border crossing and helping arrange transportation for them after they cross the border. So that's what we've done. We've supported over, I think, 400 people in uh, border crossings thus far. Every day, people come to our website, borderlands.com.ua. They submit help tickets. We call them right away or get on chat with them and give them that advice and that support. And then we help link them up with people who want housing. So if you're watching this video and you want to know how you can get involved and help, we've set up a website, a nonprofit site, where you can tell us how you want to help, whether you want to offer lodging, support, money uh, to refugees, all those opportunities are available and you can do that on our website. Now, if you're watching this and you know someone inside Ukraine who wants help, then you can point them to the site. They can submit a help ticket or chat with one of our representatives who should always be online and we're going to help them uh, get connected to the help that they need. Now, as we uh, set up this charity, we've set up a foundation already in America, a nonprofit. We have a fiscal sponsor, which is already a 501c3. So any donations that you make towards uh, the Borderlands Foundation can be tax deductible right away in the United States. We just filed the paperwork here in Warsaw, Poland to become a European Union uh, nonprofit or charity, also car called the Borderlands Foundation. And what we've decided to do is take our experience with being refugees ourselves and design a tech, plat a tech platform which basically allows Ukrainians to ask for help, whether you need money, lodging, transportation, or uh, anything else, supplies. And then when you create that ask for help, uh, people from across the world can go look at that, those ask for help and decide if they want to help you, whether it's providing uh, financial support, lodging, uh, transportation or uh, supplies that you may need. We've also set up a logistical operation in Warsaw, Poland, where people are sending supplies, medical supplies, humanitarian supplies to people inside the country. We can receive those supplies, get them to the border, and then uh, get them across the border and through drivers that we have inside the country, uh, we, can, we can get those to people. Uh, so that's really the vision behind the Borderlands Foundation. And I just wanted to put this video out there and explain it to anyone who wants to know how you can get involved. Uh, we have a show that we broadcast three times a week. We're always looking for great guests, people from inside Ukraine or who've left Ukraine who know what's going on, sharing their stories of how this entire country uh, is pulling together in a way I've never seen. I've, I've seen 
a lot of things in the United States. I was there after September 11th happened. I was in the United States Army when that happened. But I've never seen a country pull together uh, myself like I've seen inside Ukraine uh, from being really a member of that community, a, a resident of Ukraine, uh, engaged to, to someone from Ukraine with my future in-laws there. And it's really phenomenal and it's been amazing. And uh, I'm gonna continue writing about Ukraine and the story of Ukraine continue broadcasting this show that we're doing, this podcast, and uh, really just take this forward as a foundation. And our vision is to not just help people during the conflict, but post-conflict, we're gonna repurpose everything that we create here for rebuilding this great country and uh, helping what, what is gonna be one of the biggest national rebuilding efforts since the, the Second World War, and really uh, helping that move forward after the war. So this is uh, a project I'm really excited about. I'd love to invite you, uh, if you're watching this, to get involved by just going to our website, telling us how you want to help, donating money. If you want to support this financially, you can reach out to us to get tax deduction for, for that donation or passing this along to people who want to help. Or you could just watch our broadcasts, which are all on our website. Go read my blog posts where I talk about the history of Ukraine. I was writing uh, blog posts and history of Ukraine well before this conflict started. I made videos about the history of Ukraine last year while I lived in Kiev. They're also on our website. And um, I would love for you to check that out and just continue being part of this community in whatever way you want to be, whether you're just consuming the content and learning more about Ukraine and, and watching and, and hearing stories from people, or if you want to get more involved, donate financially or offer other help, like opening your home to people short-term or long-term uh, who need lodging or anything, uh, we'd love to see you get involved. So uh, welcome to the Borderlands Project, or sorry, welcome to the Borderlands Foundation. Uh, can't wait to continue to build this out. We've got a great uh, team supporting us, a great board that we're forming, and uh, really looking forward to you know, bringing together this community of people who've reached out to me from all over the world who want to know how they can help real Ukrainians, because we want to create that transparent person-to-person -person giving uh, where you can do that in a personal way, see the impact that you're making, and also get the benefits from doing that, you know, the charitable contribution, tax deduction, uh, so you can, you can really be rewarded for your generosity. So thanks again. Welcome to the Borderlands Foundation. Uh, hope to see you continue to be part of this movement to help Ukraine in their fight for freedom and, and their ability to choose their own future and their way of life. It really impacts all of us um, in the West and, and really across the world, anywhere where you care about uh, you know, principles, rule of law, international um, peace, and uh, you know, sovereignty. So thanks again, and it's, it's a pleasure to work with you.